Okay, guys, we're going to take a look at five artificial intelligence AI ETFs. We're going to analyze them right now. Guys, keep in mind that when you're looking at ETFs, there's many things to look at, but a great way to get invested in a sector is to invest in ETF instead of trying to guess which specific company is going to go catastrophic. We've seen it happen a lot this year from some very large companies that make a lot of money, like NVIDIA. But if you don't have the comfort and the confidence to pick an individual company, the ETF's a great way to go. Here's the first one. Global X Robotics and Artificial Intelligence ETF. The ticker is BOTZ for bots. The thing has been around for since September of 2016. It's up 100% since then. But guys, interesting enough, even though AI took a big jump this year, it's only up, it's down actually since November of 2021. But earlier this year, it's almost tripled, okay? Since October of last year. Let's look at the top holdings. Actually, before we get there, let's look at the expense ratio. Not your typical ETF, 0.69. Dividend yield of 0.19. So there's a, there's a hefty expense here for an ETF. About $2.5 billion is managed here. Look at the inflows of, of, of cash. This is all inflows right here. Year to date, one year, three years. A lot of inflow. Why? Because hype has been huge. So you look at the three-year inflow, Three-year inflow is basically all in the last year. We all saw what happened with ARC, but let's go check out what exactly is going on on the holdings. Top holdings, not a shock here. NVIDIA. Some other names I really don't know here. Actually, a lot of these names I don't even know. <laughs> Upstart. <laughs> Upstart is that one, I believe, that's the CNBC video where they were interviewing the guy, and the guy was talking about how there was a lot of potential in the company, and it's the revenue, blah, blah, and the, and the, and the announcer says, oh, what does Upstart do? And the guy pretended like he didn't hear. What was it? He's like, wait, what? There's a bad connection because he had no idea what Upstart did. Go watch that video. It's awesome. So really, um, it's okay that it's only one company I recognize. It kind of is a good thing in a way because it kind of says, hey, listen, there's going to be a lot of other companies out there. But look at this. NVIDIA is 14% of the holdings. Intuitive, Intuitive Surgical Inc. is 10%. There's a lot of holdings here that make up a big chunk of the fund. Fund number two, Global X Artificial Intelligence and Tech ETF AIQ. This has been around since May of 2018. It's up 113% since then. Another big expense ratio, 68 BIPs. Low dividend yield of 0.1%. About one third the size right here, $890 million. And again, just like the other one, basically all the... All the inflows have been in the last one year. The vast majority of the inflows have been in the last one year. AI has a lot of hype. People put a lot of money into it. They deploy a lot of capital. Six months has been the vast majority. Look at this, guys. In the last six months, they've received $485 million. In the last five years, they've received $655 million. So 80% of their last five years basically has been, or 75% has been in the last um, six months. Just think about that that way. Let's look at their holdings. Top holdings. Oh, Intel here. Intel's up a lot this year. 90 some percent. Meta's number two. Amazon, Google, Salesforce, Salesforce, IBM. Interesting. Adobe. It's also tech too. This is also tech because you got Netflix in here as well. Look at NVIDIA all the way down here. Only 3% of the portfolio. It's actually more evenly distributed here. Look at this. The top one is 4%. 3.35. I mean, look at this. The top 12 or so have 3% or more. So a lot more evenly distributed. Now, that could be a good thing. It's more diversity, et cetera. But also, to really get outsized returns, you got to make bets, smaller bet, bigger bets on smaller number of, um, of, of names. So there's a plus and minus to all of this. Fund number three, ROBT, the FT NASDAQ Artificial Intelligence and Robotic ETF. This thing has been around since February of 18. It's up 55% since then. Um, another high expense ratio. 0.65. Dividend yield a little bit higher, 0.23. Uh, only $500 million in total assets. And again, guys, this is the thing that concerns me the most. One year, 240 million. Five years, you got 411 million. A little bit better, but about half their money has come. Over half their money has come in the last five years has been in the last one year. Just keep that in mind when you think about artificial intelligence. There's a lot of hype around it. Doesn't mean it's not going to be great. Look at the dot com. Dot com had struggles, but the internet is clearly one of the biggest changes we had to the world in the last century. I mean, it's huge. It's astronomically huge. So 
Just remember, ETFs are a great way to get invested in a sector without trying to pick individual companies. So let's see what their holdings consist of. Upstart, number one. <laughs> let's go ask that guy. Upstart is at $47. When he made that video, it was like at $350. When he made that interview, it's the best interview. Don't know this one. Don't know. Don't know. Okay. Where's NVIDIA? Wow. Not even here. Mobileye. That was in Intel's spinoff. So this might be one that's interesting. It's got a lot of diversity and a lot of companies that I haven't even heard of. So it's more likely there's upside potential. Who knows? But it's a great way again to get, I mean, look at this. This is a lot of random companies here. I don't know what's the right one. Maybe you look at a bunch of different ones. Fund number four, IRBO, the iShares Robotics and Artificial Intelligence Multi-Sector ETF. Whew, that's a lot to say. This has been around since June of 18, up 55% since then. At one point in February of 21, it was up 121%. Remember that time we were telling people to watch it with um, all the crazy companies. Snapchat is the number four holding. Let's go. Lumen, interesting. Um, Arm Holdings. Google, and oh my gosh, look at this, guys. All 1%. Basically, they're really diverse here and equally as, uh, trying to do as equal as possible, which kind of surprises me. It tells me they probably get in and out of holdings a lot. Let's look at the quote. Let's at 0.47 expense ratio, so a little bit lower than the other one, much higher dividend yield, 0.87, um, $587 million in assets. Okay, maximum, okay. Turnover ratio, 35%, which means they own companies for about three years at a time. Uh, let's see what the other ones were. I didn't see that. 46%, so about two years at a time for the previous one. 21% in AIQ. That means they hold about five years at a time. And for the first one, 30%, it's so another three years at a time. Final one, WTAI, Wisdom Tree Artificial Intelligence and Innovation ETF. This has been around since... Whoa, December of 21, it's down 15% since then. It got down to 44% down. All right, $200 million in assets under management, very small fund, lower expense ratio than the first three. Dividend yield, it's low. Turnover, 26%, which means they keep for about four years at a time, even though it hasn't been around that long. And again, look at this. I mean, everything is coming. Well, it's only been around for a year and a half, two years. So guys, again, I'm going to repeat till I'm blue in the face. Artificial intelligence is going to have a huge future in computing. Doesn't mean every company that touches it will do well. Doesn't mean that the leaders today will do well. But if you want to get some broad-based investment into something without having to worry about which individual company to buy, ETFs are a great way to go. You're going to do better by investing in the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ over long periods of time if you buy them at the right time. So if you want to understand what I mean by buying them at the right time, watch this next video because these are the only two funds you need to do in order to get the upside potential of the market as well as technology. Thank you very much for your time.